Welcome back Guardians and in today's video we're going to be doing another legendary weapon review. This time the sword breaker, the legendary shotgun which you can receive by beating the Protoss end raid on normal. This shotgun has 331 void damage which is very useful and in this video we will be looking at it in PvP and PvE starting off with PvE. This is my current setup with the gun that you can see here. As you can see I have smooth ballistics equipped because this gives almost double stability and although the others do give a bit more impact and range I feel this is the most useful of the first three. The Grenadier perk allows us to regen grenade energy quicker when we get a kill and then in the middle tier there is Flare Magwell for speed, Hammer Forge for distance and the bottom perk gives us plus two agility. This gun also has final round for bonus damage and Hive Disruptor. So as a lot of you will already know, the shotguns have received a 100% damage increase, meaning they are now twice as powerful as before, and they are much more effective now. If you're someone who likes to do Vault of Glass, take this with you, and Praetorians will not be a problem because of the void damage and the two-shot kill. Now we're going to be talking about most of this gun's upgrades in PvP, but right now, I want to take a look at the flared magwell in a controlled environment where I can stand still, fire off the rounds and reload, and you can see for yourself the difference in speed. So right now, I'm going to use a simp so we have full ammunition, and I'm going to fire off six rounds without flared magwell, and then reload the gun so you can see what kind of reload speed it has. Now, as you can see here, it's not a slow reload speed without it, but when the flared magwell perk is applied, as you'll now see, the gun reloads at a frighteningly fast pace for a shotgun. My personal preference with this weapon is always using Hammer Forge, but here is an example of how effective Flared Magwell can be with this gun's already fast reload speed. So I'll we'll attack him here and then once damaged, step back and reload and you'll see how fast this really is. The final round upgrade will allow us to cause extra damage when firing the last bullet in our clip. So if you like me, you may tend to reload after getting a kill, but just wait, bear this perk in mind, and then you'll be causing a lot more damage with your last bullet. And the final perk for this weapon, Hive Disruptor, which allows you to cause more damage with the Majors, as you will see right now. Taking the gun into the Crucible, probably the most fun I've had reviewing a gun in the Crucible. The range on it is brilliant for a shotgun. Reload time, again, brilliant for a shotgun. And the impact is high as well. I don't think it's ever taken me more than two shots so far to get the kill. The only thing I had a bit of an issue with at first was stability. But I was still getting kills before changing my loadout. Coming up now is the loadout which I have most success with. So, Zone what C I did here neutralized. was left Hammer Forged on. Fairly obvious choice, but Zone then I went lost. for smooth ballistics for that extra stability. The range on this was already impact. decent, Zone so I thought a. I could afford to sacrifice a tiny bit of range and impact, and it gave me so much more control over the gun. Now, as you may or may not be aware, although the update did give us 100% more damage in PvE, in PvE they changed it so that you will spawn with less ammo for your secondary weapon, meaning your sword breaker. But I've just picked up some ammo for it. I've just ran past two more. And also, it will not take you that many shots to get the kill. So this really is not an issue because of the pure stopping power. Now, I've never been a big fan of shotguns in Destiny. And to be completely honest with you, I've not been a small fan of them either. I would never use them. And since making this review, I know I'll be keeping the sword breaker on me almost all the time now because I've had so much fun using it and if people are unsure please give the gun a try I'm sure you'll have as much fun with it as I did and please let me know do you think this is the best legendary shotgun in Destiny if you'd like to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe